time to get to know your roots. In the Pacific, the coconut tree is often referred to as the tree of life. If it wasn't for this humble tree, well, there wouldn't be any coconuts for a start. This is the story of Sina and the eel, or tuna. Here she is doing the breaststroke. She probably invented it. Clever girl. Ages ago, way before internet, takeaways, or the need to have the latest Air Jordans, there lived a princess named Sina. When Sina was young, her parents gifted her a pet eel, which she fed yummy stuff every day. After a while, the eel grew up and fell in love with Sina. Sort of what happens when you feed something all the time. This freaked out Sina a bit, because she wasn't into eels, you know? She was like human, and the eel wasn't. It also freaked out the villagers, and they decided to kill eel. Bit harsh. Doesn't look like they were doing much anyways. Ooh, look at them go! Anyway, Eel was onto the villagers' plan, because Eels are slippery like that. Wow, he's huge! Before the villagers came to waste him, Eel asked Sina to take his body after he was dead, obviously, and to bury his head in a special place. Sina granted Eel's dying wish and planted his head in the sand. After a few days, up grew what we now call the coconut tree. Even today, if you look at a coconut after it's been husked, you see the face of Eel, or Tuna. So, because Eel chose the wrong girl and her fam's freaked out, this is how we got the coconut tree and its many heaps of uses, like a broom, or a house, or something to eat, you know. Know your roots. Want you to know that we probably made most of this stuff up, so if you want to know if we're lying or not, ask your parents, or find someone who knows, like a taxi driver, or a teacher. He looks like both. Know your roots! Ha 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 ha!